Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to add a simple health bar above a character that reduces if this character steps into some dangerous zone. And if health is out, then character dies. Scripts will be available by the link in the description. Let's quickly set up our scene. Add a cat sprite, add rigid body to the component to it, set gravity scale to zero, collision detection to continuous and freeze zero rotation. Then add a box collider 2D that will be a trigger. Edit it a bit. This collider will detect collisions with fire game object. Cat game object needs a script to control its behavior. Here it is. Here are rigid body, direction X, direction Y and move speed variables that help the cat to move. Then here is health amount variable, which is public static in order to be accessible through another script. In start method we set health amount as 1 and get rigid body component. Then in update method we get values if arrow keys are pressed and assign them to direction x and direction y variables multiplied by move speed. Also here we check if health amount is less than 0 and if it is then we destroy our cat game object. In fixed update method we pass a velocity to cat's rigid body component according to direction x and direction y values. If cat collides with something then on trigger enter to the method is invoked where we check if game object's name cat collides with is fire then health amount is reduced by 0.1. That's the script. Add the script to cat. Now let's create a health bar. Drag and drop white rectangle sprite into cat, so this rectangle becomes a child of cat game object. Rename it as health bar. Now let's position and scale it properly. Position X will be negative 2.15, Y will be 3, scale X will be 1 and scale Y will be 0.1. Now we need to change health bar's pivot point position, so it will be at the left side of the health bar game object. Select white rectangle sprite and set pivot point x value as 0. Hit apply to save this change. Now health bar is about where it should be. Let's change its color to red. To control health bar size, so it represents cat's health amount, we use health bar script. It's pretty simple one. Here we have only one variable, which is local scale, that is assigned in start method as current scale of our health bar. Then in update method we set local scale x value as a value that health amount variable of cat script has. That's why we need that variable to be public static. So using this script and shifted pivot point of health bar sprite, we can control health bar's appearance this way. Add this script to health bar game object. Last thing to do is to add a fire game object as a danger zone. Add fire sprite and add a box collider to it. Check its trigger option and edit it a bit. That's it. Now we can hit play and see how it works. The cat can move around and if it touches a fire then its health is reduced and health bar becomes shorter. If health is over then cat is destroyed. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.